creative writing advice with me JJ Barnes. If you don't know me, I'm the author of How to Write a Story, which is out now on Amazon. It's where I just take you through your story, how to write it, tips, tricks, techniques you can use to give you the confidence to get your story out into the world. Today on this channel, however, I am going to be talking about why you should follow the story, not the plan. I've talked before about planning your story and, you know, the beginning and the middle and the end and things you want to do with your story so that you've got a path to follow. But because story is fluid and everything I tell you isn't like a law or a rule, it's a guidance and advice. So what I'm going to be talking today is why, if your story is leading you in a different direction to the plan that you carefully constructed and the end point you had in mind and the midpoint you had in mind, you should follow the story, not the plan. Because sometimes when you're writing, it's like the story kind of lives freely. And whilst I'm a big believer in the importance of the story structure and the three act structure can work for you really well. And yeah, making sure that your midpoint works like your pivot and your end point is a strong climax. These things are really important and they will improve your story incredibly. I'm also a big believer that the story kind of can flow naturally. And it's not like the story is out of your control because you're the one writing it, right? But what I mean is sometimes your subconscious will steer it away from what your conscious planned and take you on a different journey. And when that happens, if you realize you're headed towards a different climax than you expected, or you feel like a character who was going to live should die or die should live, it's okay to trust your gut and your instinct and follow that. Because the story is yours and it should flow. It should flow how it works for you because that means that you're doing something you're actually passionate about, not something you told yourself you have to do. And I've done this before. And actually, um, <laughs> we've, we uh, our film Hollow Hood, things were gonna go slightly different. Um, we were gonna kill people that have survived and some survivors were gonna die. Um, just because when we were writing it, it was like, actually, this feels right. So trust yourself, trust your instinct, basically. Because if you trust your instinct to be free and creative with your story, it might not go where you expected it to. It might, and that's fine. Like, it's good to send it. If you like, if your if your planning of your story goes exactly where your free flowing creativity would send it anyway, that's brilliant. And it will actually make it easier for you in the long run because it's all lined up nicely. But if your creativity is sending you in a different direction, my advice would be to trust that and go with it. If it's sending you wildly off plot and you have to find your way to steer yourself back to what you originally intended because where you're sending it just isn't working, then yeah, of course, you take it out and you go back to what you were doing originally and stick to it. But if your story is moving in a different direction and it feels right and it's flowing and it's making sense, even though it's completely different to what you planned originally. Go with it. As I say, you might end up just deleting it and going back to the original plan, but that's storytelling, that's writing, it happens. Or you might discover, wow, like, I didn't see this coming, but it works. Because as you write, your characters grow and develop. Like we don't go into the beginning of us, unless it's like later in a sequel, the first time you write a story, the people are new. They have no life before and no life after until you like weave it into who they are. So sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation where you're like, oh, this character is behaving in a way I wasn't expecting, but it really suits the scene, it really suits the plot, and it really suits who they are, which gives them then an immediate backstory you didn't anticipate. And when there's a backstory you didn't anticipate, that will feed into the present day. And it will affect how people be around them are, it will affect how they behave from then on. So you have to accommodate for that. And let that character grow and develop into who they are. 
which might then make their behaviour completely different than your story planned, because who they are is completely different to how your story planned. But they're real and they're natural and they've grown and it makes sense and you like that character development. Now you might be real sad then, right? Well, but I've planned all this story and I've got all these events that are going to, you know, go to waste, but they're not. For instance, my Emerald book, Emerald Run in the Coven of Seven, right? Originally, the concept for it was going to go into my Lily Prospero series, my other characters. And I was like, this is a great concept. I'm going to use it for these characters. It'll be a bit different. But as I was writing it, I just, the characters weren't them. Emerald, the like how she responded wasn't Lily. It was a different person. And instead of scrapping it completely or just forcing Lily into a character box that didn't suit her, I took it and gave it to new people entirely. And you can do that. If your side plot that you decide you have to scrap and go back onto your original plan is brilliant but not working for that story, give it to somebody else like I did with Lily. Or if you follow your creativity and go in a completely different direction and feel your original plan is wasted, it's not. The work's still there. The ideas are still there. There's no limit to how many stories you can tell in your life. Just use it but for someone else because letting your creativity flow and trusting your instincts as a writer is a really important part of it and that's all where the confidence comes from like you have to have the confidence to be like no it's okay i can do this because you might like mistrust yourself or judge yourself or think you're wrong and you're probably not stories are part of you they grow from you they they are entirely your your feelings and your soul and your gut growing them and if you can trust yourself and develop it and follow it it will probably work better than it would have done if you'd forced yourself to do something that doesn't quite feel right in the moment now because if you've already plot every beat or your midpoint and everything what your creativity flows into might not have the structure and control it needs but that's fine that's when you go back and edit and you have to go back and edit and it'll probably take quite a lot of work but again that's the job you, you you're going to have to do that but it's fine you can build to those you can fix things you can make notes work better you can steer through your story give it structure give it control give it the foreshadowing everything it needs in like in hindsight in reverse like you get to your end and you're like right this climax i didn't plan for it exists now so I need to weave in the things that build to it earlier. And you can do that, trust me, it's, you can do that. It will be work, but it will be worth it. Yeah. Follow the story, not the plan. If the story takes you somewhere you didn't plan for, it's okay, go there anyway. And don't worry about lost ideas, use them somewhere else. Yeah, that is what I think. So thank you very much for watching my video. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you feel confident enough to trust your creativity and trust your instincts and your gut and let your characters live and go with them. It's the magic of story that these people that we create kind of become, regardless of what we intended, they just become and we get to experience that with them. So thank you for watching. If you subscribe to this channel, I'm putting out a video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, Monday I do Ask Me Anything where I answer questions about all different subjects. And Wednesday and Friday I cover writing advice, writing tips, uh, just like writing in general. I get to talk about the craft that I love so much. If you go to my website, which is jjbarnes.co.uk, you'll find links to all of my work over there and my social media so you can come chat to me. And if you really disagree with me and if you think that somebody should definitely only stick to the plan, not the story where it goes freely drop a comment and we'll talk because it's fine i have my way and this is the way that works for me and the way i would encourage but other people can disagree like this isn't law like i say this is advice and guidance and it's okay to not agree on everything so you could tell me and we'll talk so thank you very much i will be back again soon bye